This is Bells and Whistle Sport in association with Reginald and Reginald 31 and Safer Training Solution. We're at Carnage Community in Battersea. I'm along stairs here. Obviously, you've been coming here for two years, you say? Yeah, so tell me about how important this place is to you. Carnage Community, especially like this building and everything, is really important to me because with the amount of crime that's going on in London, like the knife crime and all the issues with the youth, like obviously people my age and my generation, boxing is definitely one of the best ways how it's, it's been able to help us. Like when you're out there, everyone's got a lot of built-in anger, maybe because of families or, or just people dying around them, everyone hearing it all the time, parents going crazy with the news. But with the youth, with the parents are always worried about, a Carnage Community, me and many of us feel safe here because we look after by so many like very good social like youth mentors youth mentors like Giz, Andrew, Roddy, Joe, all of these people are great people. They're only out looking for us like they would do that this this place would do that would go to the extra mile to help us and to do good things like set up uh, like festivals getting us helping out with them sorting out um, trips and activities and boxing especially it's just a way of taking out like anger and you could put it on the bags you could do it in, in like a controlled environment where like people like George and Giz and the rest of the mentors could help us like improve all of our all of the the staff here are very well trained and it just helps us like get better overall because when we're angry we come here everyone feels like that everyone comes out happy everyone's talking to each other there's no problems no issues and everyone's always looking forward to come to the next session so that's how Cunning Screen is really affecting me and everyone else here. Brilliant, thank you for that. So tell me how important is it had to have a mentor? Obviously you told about you talk about yours and all the rest of the guys here. Yeah. How important is it to have a mentor here what looks after you and embraces you here and makes you want to come here every week? Oh, no worries. Having a mentor is one of the most important things, especially in our time. Because we it's unfortunate to say, but we have people like with dads like not they don't really care as much or people don't don't even have dads like around and here when there's mentors and like obviously especially like there's some parents with like a lot of children uh, they can't really give everyone the amount of time they need and the actual like care and support they need. But here at Connors Community, we have so many mentors that are literally can be dedicated to you and they'll actually take time out of their life. They'll give you their numbers. You can call them whenever you want and you build a personal relationship with them and it doesn't go away. Like whenever you need them, they're always going to be there. It's like these, like these, these mentors, they would be, they would be doing something, but they would actually take time to help you. And not everyone can, not everyone has that chance. There's so many places around the, around the world, especially London, especially London where people that have no role models and they go and they look at say like rappers or like people that they think that are like happy but in, internally they can't really help you they're just people they look at and just hope they can be like that one day without any sort of di direction but a kindness community all these people they just look out for you they have like a sort of a sort of like a way for you and like a, a, a sort of direction for them to guide you like all the time and that's what they that's what i really love about kindness community brilliant 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 Obviously, what would you say to any kids who may be in, involved in gangs who want to get up and get into boxing but haven't really got confidence or who don't really have the people pushing them to do that? What would you say? Would you tell them to, how would you tell them to come down there and uh, get involved with these guys? I would straight away just give them a leaflet or just give them a number because it's so easy just to like, have a number and just ring it. And they are so welcoming. Uh, like One phone call would literally just, they would like persuade you and just make you want to come down as soon as possible. Like with me, sometimes I wouldn't, I'd be busy. Like as soon as I call them they're welcoming they would be like oh like you you really feel welcome to come here like if someone's like doesn't have enough um, doesn't have a lot of confidence or like, like I'll just maybe bring them here or bring them or like bring an older brother or bring someone because every, everyone's welcome here any age like everyone's welcome here. so that's what it's been like no matter how old you are race gender whatever you are everyone's welcome at Carnage Community and that's what I really love and how like children they should always feel comfortable like coming here like you could come in any way with a brother or with a parent people have come in with their parents before because they've been shy or like they want like someone to advocate uh, advocate for them and that's happened and it's perfectly fine and then ever since then they feel comfortable enough to come by themselves come on bus come come however they want or when they want so that's what they are that's what I think brilliant 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 tell me about the programs you got going on in the Carnage community what's your favorite one and what one do you say to tell people to come to and enjoy my one is 100% got to be the boxing sessions like this one obviously this one on Wednesday uh, they run a session at Oldsfield uh, on Friday as well personally I think the boxing ones are the best one because you're always being like you're always being pro like being active there's there's not a chance where you could just like like take a, there's obviously some breaks but there's not many breaks it's just like constant and like it's just a thorough 
It's a very thorough session where you're just at it. I like people are like there's a sort of, sort of sense of discipline. Some people don't get as well. There's just like a broad mix, like a boxing. Like they help you, uh, they speak to you, they they're coaching you. I like they they they're giving you a bunch of skills that you want to learn. Like having like having skills to box and like patience and disciplinary. Like you learn a lot of things, especially at like, these sessions, the boxing session. You learn so much. So that's what I say. Thank you, thank you. We're going to talk about obviously boxing. You said you like boxing. Your boxer fan. Who's your favorite boxer at the moment? Favorite boxer. It has to be Tyson Fury. Yep. Because the way this guy has, like, he's been through depression. He's been through a lot of things that everyone's going on, like, going through. And the fact that he's pushed through and he's countless belts, countless heavy, heavyweight belts, and he's just like beating people that no one would think he beat. Like, he's always gone going through so many hurdles people thought we'd never beat, but he's beat it and he's accomplished it many times. And he's just an inspiration, especially in the boxing world. Staying with Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. Obviously, yesterday uh, it's been announced that he's fighting Deontay Wilder for the second time next year. Are you looking forward to that fight? Are you excited for it? 100%. 100%. Because the thing is that with that match, uh, he got knocked down, of course, but the fact that it was still a tie showed that he had him throughout the whole match. And the fact that he's having a rematch with him, everyone's everyone's looking forward to it. Like, it's 100% going to sell out. Like, that. Those two are one of the most like heavily spoken about boxes in the world, and everyone's just looking forward because everyone, everyone knows Tyson Fury got robbed of that fight. To be honest, like yeah, so I'm just I'm just looking forward for them to fight again and Tyson Fury to actually win this time. Thank you. I'm looking forward to that fight as a boxing fan. It's going to be a good fight. We're going to talk about one more thing about before we go. So all these people about Carnage community over the summer, what's the best time to come over the summer, during the summer time, and also tell us about what you like doing outside the Carnage community. Um, wait, so could you repeat the question, please? So tell us, tell us fans, obviously people watching, what we got going on over the summer, what programs is good to come to over the summer? You see, you've been coming for two years, so what's good to come in the, in the summertime? What's, what programs are good to come to? Oh, okay. There's been like festivals open, like there, were, um, there was one in like Batsea, there's going to be one in two in, like where we can help out other people get into it so like if anyone is shy that's another thing like if someone's shy to come like there's there's they do um stands in like Batsy and two in that anyone can come along and then we'll do boxing with them we'll have conversations with them the mentors will speak to them and then they could convince you to come they'll give you a leaflet and yeah so that's one of the best things that i like about like what they run in summer um from kind community they do sessions of Batsy two in like in like um festivals and they they're part they're in there so um yeah they do that and i really like it because like I can spend time outside helping out knowing that I'm giving back to the place that helped me. You know what I'm saying? Like they help like we help them and they help they help us as well. It's a two way thing. So it won't feel like they like they're doing everything for you. It's like they they have the skills and like they use their skills of mentoring everything and helping you to you and then they give it to you so you can do it to others. So it's a very giving charity. It's a very giving and it's like it teaches you so much and then it's for you to teach others as well. So that's what I like. And other things that I'm doing in summer, um, I play basketball a lot. Like basking is basketball and boxing. Like that's what it's always been for me. Like, but obviously, boxing is more of an emotional sport for me. That's why I, I, I don't feel like I can ever leave it. But basketball, it's just it's really fun. So I, I, I really enjoy playing basketball. But with boxing, it's like it's a really emotional sport and like it can help you with anything. To be honest, yeah. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, obviously, we're here finishing wrapping here. Bells and whistles, sport in association with Reginald and Reginald 31 and Safer Training Solution. Thank you.